Did you just get a short haircut and are now finding yourself regretting it? Luckily for you, there are lots of ways to encourage it to grow fast, healthy, and strong. Massaging your scalp or applying special hair treatments are both good bets. Eating a healthy, well-balanced diet can also help encourage your hair to grow. Most importantly, however, make sure that you take good care of your hair to prevent damage from occurring. Damaged, unhealthy hair tends to break, which won't help at all if you're trying to grow it out. Part 1 of 3, Trying Scalp and Hair Treatments. 1. Massage your scalp. Massaging any part of your body improves circulation by increasing blood flow to the area, and your scalp is no exception. When you massage your scalp, the increased blood flow stimulates your hair follicles to grow. Scalp massage is a simple and easy technique for helping your hair grow in healthy and fast. Try massaging your scalp every time you take a shower. Use the tips of your fingers to gently rub your scalp in a circular motion. Be sure to cover the front, back and sides of your head. Repeat the process as much as you like. It has the added benefit of reducing tension and helping you feel calm. 2. Rub your scalp with essential oils. Certain essential oils have been shown to help stimulate new hair growth. Increase the benefits of your scalp massage by working in a small amount of essential oil. Pour 5 to 10 drops of oil over your fingertips and massage the oil all over your scalp. Try one of these essential oils. Peppermint, which improves circulation. Tea tree oil, which soothes the scalp and helps improve dandruff. Lemon oil, which promotes healthy hair growth. 3. Do an oil conditioning treatment. This serves the dual purpose of helping promote hair growth and keeping the hair you have strong and soft. Coconut oil, olive oil, almond oil and castor oil are all thought to help hair grow in thick and strong. To do a conditioning treatment, follow these steps. For olive oil, have damp hair and distribute it throughout your hair. Then flip your head upside down and massage your scalp for 2 to 3 minutes. Wet your hair and massage 1 to 2 tablespoons of oil into your scalp for 5 minutes. Run your fingers through your hair to distribute the oil from your roots to the tips of your hair. You can also use a wide tooth comb. Cover your hair with a shower cap and let the oil soak in for 1 to 2 hours. Shampoo your hair as normal. You may have to wash it twice to remove excess oil. 4. Make a restorative hair mask. If your hair is dry or thin, treating it with a nutritious mask can help restore its luster. A restorative hair mask may not help your hair grow quickly, but by protecting the hair you have, it will keep you from having to trim off split ends and take a step backward on your journey to having longer hair. Here's how to make a hair mask. Crack one egg into a bowl and beat it lightly. Mix in two tablespoons of plain yogurt and one tablespoon of honey. Apply to wet hair and let it sit for 20 minutes. Shampoo your hair as normal to wash out the mask. 5. Use a boar bristle brush. This is a special type of brush made with natural fibers that closely resemble the texture of human hair. It is used to pull sebum, the natural oil secreted by your scalp, all the way to the tips of your hair. This protects your hair from roots to tips and keeps it healthy and strong. Here's how to use one. Place the brush against your scalp and rub it back and forth to massage your head and pick up your natural oil. In one long stroke, pull the brush from your roots to the tips of your hair. Keep stroking the same section of hair until it looks glossy and smooth. Continue this process section by section until you have massaged your entire scalp and brushed out all of your hair. Make sure you get a boar bristle brush. This doesn't work with plastic or metal brushes. 6. Know what not to use in your hair. When your goal is to grow your hair out fast, it's important to pay attention to the products you use. Many products contain chemicals that can damage your hair and cause it to be dry and brittle. Aim to use products that are composed of mainly natural ingredients. Avoid products that contain the following. Sulfates, found in shampoo, these are harsh cleansers that strip your hair of natural oils and dry it out. Parabens, found in shampoo and conditioner, these are irritant to the skin, cause swelling and mimics estrogen to the body along with other factors like causing obesity, disrupting endocrine system and increased chances of breast cancer. Silicones, found in conditioner, these build up in your hair and cause it to look weighed down and dull. Alcohols, found in hairspray, gel and other styling products, these dry out your hair and cause it to get brittle. Phthalate synthetic fragrance found in most hair care products, they make the scent last longer. Like parabens, they're endocrine disruptors and mimic estrogen. They reduce the cracking allowing them to form a flexible film. Propylene glycol, found in shampoo and conditioner, it causes dehydration to the hair. Synthetic colors, found in most shampoos and conditioners, many are linked to various diseases including cancer. Part 2 of 3, Being Healthy from the Inside Out. 1. Eat plenty of protein. Hair is mostly composed of protein, making it the most important component of a hair-healthy diet. 
Examine your diet and make sure you're getting plenty of protein every day. When your diet is protein deficient, your body doesn't produce as much hair. Eat lean meats, fish, eggs and dairy products high in protein. Beans, leafy greens and tofu are good sources of protein for vegetarians. 2. Eat biotin. This is a B vitamin essential for hair growth. Since it is mostly found in animal products, vegetarians and vegans often find that they have a B vitamin deficiency. To make sure you get plenty of B vitamins in your diet, eat the following foods. Eggs, nuts, salmon, avocados, meat products and wheat bran. If you feel you aren't able to meet your B vitamin needs with food alone, consider taking a biotin supplement. 3. Eat vitamins A and C. These vitamins help hair stay glossy and healthy. When you aren't getting enough vitamin A or C, your hair can become weak and dull. Make sure you're eating plenty of the following. Sweet potatoes, carrots, kale, butternut squash and pumpkin, which are all rich in vitamin A broccoli, leafy greens, peppers, and citrus fruits, which contain high amounts of vitamin C. 4. Eat omega-3 fatty acids. These, good, fats support your scalp's health and promote healthy growth of hair and skin cells. Omega-3 fatty acid is found in salmon, sardines, mackerel, flax seeds and walnuts. You can take fish or flax seed oil supplements if you don't enjoy eating foods that are rich in omega-3s. 5. Stay hydrated. When your body is dehydrated, it shows in your hair. Your hair can become dry, brittle and more prone to breakage. When your hair breaks and frays, it's more difficult to grow it into the longer style you're after. Make sure you stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water every day. Try replacing coffee, soda and alcoholic drinks with water whenever possible. Carry a water bottle with you throughout the day so you'll never have to go thirsty. 6. See a doctor if your hair is falling out. Sometimes hair loss or extremely slow growth has an underlying cause that can't be fixed using at-home methods. If you believe that your hair loss may be a symptom of a more serious illness, make an appointment with your doctor right away. Once you get the underlying problem treated, your hair should start to grow faster. Here are a few conditions that cause hair loss. Scalp infections or skin disorders alopecia areata, a disorder that causes patchy hair loss. Trichotillomania, a disorder that leads you to pull out your hair. Certain medications cause hair loss. Hormonal changes can cause hair loss. Part 3 of 3, changing hair care habits. 1. Shampoo your hair less often. Washing your hair every day can cause it to get dry and brittle. Each time you shampoo your hair, you wash away the protective oil that keeps it healthy and strong. When you're trying to grow your hair fast, it's best to wash your hair no more than once or twice a week. In between washes, use dry shampoo to keep your roots from looking oily. When you wash your hair, handle it gently. Don't scrub it or wring it out. Rinse with lukewarm or cool water instead of hot. 2. Don't use heat styling tools. Air drying is really the healthiest choice when it comes to growing out your hair. Drying your hair with a hair dryer eventually weakens the hair shaft and leads to damage. The same goes for other heat styling tools like curling irons, flat irons and hot rollers. After your shower, pat your hair dry with a towel. Don't roughly towel it dry. Comb it out with a wide tooth comb. Apply product, such as leave-in conditioner, then let it fully air dry. 3. Never brush your hair when it's wet. When your hair is wet, it stretches and breaks much more easily than when it is dry. That's why brushing your hair when it's wet is so damaging. It leads to breakage, frizz and split ends. Instead, use a wide tooth comb to gently detangle your hair. Begin near the tips and work your way up to the roots, rather than dragging the comb down through your hair to pull out tangles. 4. Avoid harsh hair treatments and styles. Dyeing, bleaching, and chemically straightening your hair can cause a lot of damage. It's better to leave your hair in its natural state while you're trying to grow it out. You should also avoid hairstyles that can pull out the hair, like tight weaves or braids, if you're determined to lighten or color your hair, use a natural method that doesn't cause damage. Try lightening your hair with honey or dyeing it with henna. Learn to love your natural look. If your hair is curly or kinky, there's no natural method that will make it look perfectly straight. Fast growing, free flowing hair is beautiful. 5. Protect it from the elements. The sun, air pollution, and pool chlorine are among the environmental elements that can damage your hair. If your hair is particularly fragile, it's a good idea to protect it just as you would your skin. When you go out in strong sun, wear a hat to cover your hair. If you live in a place with high air pollution, cover your hair with a scarf or hat while you're out on the city streets. When you swim in pools, wear a swim cap to protect your hair from chlorine.